Apocalypse. What is up, guys and gals? Space Unicorn here, bringing you some hot frag action. So today we're doing our final thoughts on Tankbot. This is the new card that just came out. Um, just a quick little statistical show for you real quick. As you guys can see, strong against light characters, ammo 54, fire rate of 600, um, and an ability cooldown, so on and so forth. Now, I did notice something interesting. So this guy will be in a Versus series very, very soon. Um, but we'll get over that here in a little while. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to play some matches with him, and we're going to talk about what we think of Tankbot. We're probably going to do, like, one in each game mode with him, um, just so you guys can see, uh, well, essentially what we're looking for. This is the Tankbot event. Now, Tankbot, 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 guys. So what do we think of this particular card? Well, he's good. Um, to put it very, very simply, it's a good card. It's not... How do I want to put this? It's not as OP as uh, I think people thought he was going to be, which is actually a good thing because you can't have a card be too strong. He is strong. Like don't don't get it twisted. He is definitely a strong card. Um, but after messing around with him a little bit and and learning the nicks and uh, issues with him, um, I found some weaknesses and. It, it, while still very good, he is not the card that I think people thought he was going to be. Um, now, as I stated before, he's still a good card. Like, don't don't get it wrong. The card is solid as all get out. But he reminds me of a few other cards that, um, well, people kind of sleep on. So, with that being said strong but not as strong as you thought now what I mean by that well that's pretty simple um, basically he um, if you take away his ultimate ability I don't think people would run him um, I know that there's gonna be somebody's like well I'd still run him with 54 dude look realistically are you gonna run that card if he does not have the ultimate ability that hits that hard and People seem to think that a card that has a really good one side gets classed as OP, and that's just simply not the case. An OP card is good on all fronts. Like right now, if you look at the OP cards in the game, like the boss, that's an OP card. Good primary fire, really good ultimate ability. Um, if you look at Let's uh, let's go into a street frag match. I think with him. Um, if you look at another card like uh, let's see, like let's go crystal. Really good primary fire. Really good ultimate ability. Essentially a guaranteed kill on the ultimate ability. Um, those cards are OP because they're good all around. They're not just a one trick. Um, a lot of cards kind of fall into that trap where. I think people, I just think people overvalue a single ability as opposed to the item as a whole, and that's what you're seeing. You're seeing cards that are uh, the single ability is they're basically pricing it higher than the rest of them, um, while the ultimate ability for Tankbot is extremely good, and I don't think you'll find a single person who denies that. The primary fire is identical to another card in the game that people say is no good literally identical and I'll show you guys what I mean in the versus video that I'm gonna be doing later on um, but you guys kinda of get my point with that like you, you can't be OP and be strong on one side but the other sides not there you can have an OP ability but that does not make the card OP itself it's a very fine line that you guys have to uh, kinda of learn and figure out um, now with that being said, this card is going to get changed, guys. The ultimate ability is going to get reworked on this card in the future. Be ready for it. You just kind of have to get ready for it, guys, because it's going to happen. They're either going to decrease the fire rate or they're going to decrease the damage. Um, I, I really can't see them leaving it as is. Uh, just It's just not going to happen. That's just the simple truth. It, it's 
It's not designed that way. And to be quite frank with you, you, you gotta kind of expect that stuff with these type of cards. Anytime there's a card that is new to the game, it's going to need balancing, especially whenever they don't let players test the card um, before the card is launched. Now, if they did that, you might find some cards that come out very differently than, um, than the cards that actually do. As you guys just saw there, tank ability really good. Um, so, like, what I mean by this, guys, is the ultimate ability is going to get a damage nerf or a reduction in fire speed. I don't know which it's going to be. I just know that it's going to be one or the other. Um, it's just, just the way it is, guys. I'm sorry. I'm tasting the rainbow right now, and I don't like it. There we go, we got him. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, my voice is a little bit raspy today, guys. Um, but yeah, you guys kind of get the idea with that. Now, what are his weaknesses and his strengths? His strengths, we'll start there. Um, large magazine. Large magazine is going to enable him to basically tank whoever he chooses. Um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's one of those things that kind of gets it so people are going to use him for a change. Oh, I hate that. Get her. Get her. So, as I said, large clip, one of the strengths of this card. Uh, another strength of this card is 100% the ultimate ability. Um, the ultimate ability on this card is really, really good. And um, people, this is where people are going to scream OP. They're going to be like, his alt's too good. I don't think you're going to hear too much about, hey, his primary fire is too good. Um, and that that's that's okay. Uh, it Certain cards do certain things, you know, and this card does that well. Um, the other thing that's really good, he has a good health pull. He has pretty solid movement speed, good movement speed in his ultimate ability. Uh, so overall, this is a pretty sound card, guys. You're going to get some value out of this card, 100%. Um, there is no denying it, and there are cards that counter this card very well. Um, and people are, you're going to start to see that until the, uh, the craze or the new card dies down like it always does um, and that's 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 just typical you know um, you are the, the way this game goes is it's just made like that guys see nice little kill there look at my huge health pull at the tank that's just crazy to me um, no I'm tasting the rainbow and the boss gets me. <laughs> Didn't really want to taste that rainbow, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Where's he going? Let's issue this attack. We're going to hop over here and we're going to destroy these towers real quick. <laughs> going to hop right over that ability real quick. You guys know the drill. Go over here and grab this thing. that cloud up come over here grab our tank see I'm out with the primary fire guys you have to be tracking characters extremely well in order to get the best value out of that primary fire and that's like I said every card has its thing and that's this cards thing wait what somebody explain to me how that one didn't hit I would love to know um, so, weaknesses to this card. Pretty slow, um, as far as, like, just regular movement speed goes. Um, and that's, that's kind of typical for a card like this, is you're going to get some pretty interesting, uh, uh, interesting movement items. Like, whenever he's shooting, for instance, he slows down a little bit. Whenever he's doing, um, you know, just basically the X, Y, and Z stuff, um, you just, you kind of see... You guys know what I mean. I'm pretty sure you guys know what I mean, right? Not sure how that didn't hit him. <laughs> I 
Um, so the other thing that I'm noticing, guys, as a weakness for this card, his ultimate's hit registration is a little bit tricky. Um, it says that there's a splash radius, but it really does not feel like there's a splash radius. Um, I don't know if that makes sense to some people or not. Um, but basically, the card claims to have something that I don't, I have not noticed yet in the game. Um, almost tasted the rainbow, didn't they? <laughs> this game's over. Um, good range on this card. Good range on this card, but pretty good spread as well. Um, so like I said, guys, strengths and weaknesses for this card. My final grade for this card... He is going to be an S rank hero. Um, people are going to run him. Now, whether or not he goes into meta, I don't know. I don't know if his AI is good enough to sneak him into that meta conversation or not. Um, but this is a good card, and you'll have fun playing him. So, guys, like I said, this is Tankbot. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please like, comment, subscribe down there. I will see you, Legends, next time. Bye bye.